Our Ubuntu based virtual machine is via VMNet 8 connected to the internet. Out on the internet, we will reach out to a Linux repository server. From the Linux repository server, we are going to pull networking software onto our Ubuntu based machine. We will do that before we clone the machine to clone virtual machines with networking software on them. And here is a list of the software that we're going to pull to our Ubuntu based machine. Before we pull the software, we will do an update and an upgrade of our Ubuntu machine. Let us bring up workstation. We have our Ubuntu based machine here. And over here, we have the Ubuntu based machine desktop. Let us start by checking our IPv4 networking parameters. We see that we have an IP address. We also have a so-called default route and the subnet mask is set. This should give us internet access. Let us open a terminal. We start by doing an operating system update. We do that with super user privileges, sudo super user do. We see that a number of packages can be upgraded. So let's run an upgrade. Super user do call on the at application. And we're done with the upgrading. We can now move over to do installation of the networking software. Super user do install. We'll start by installing Wireshark. and Wireshark is installed, we can immediately try out um, and start Wireshark. I will open a new terminal window for that. To start Wireshark, I will type super user do Wireshark. And that seems to be working fine. Let's close it again. Close the window. Let us install TCP dump. And that was already installed, so nothing to do there. We can test that TCP dump is actually there immediately by starting a new terminal. Super user do TCP dump. And we're listening in on, that went pretty fast. We are listening in on ENS, interface ENS 33. Press control C to stop the program. Close the terminal. Let us install Putty. <clears throat> Open up a terminal to test. Close it again. Net tools.
bridge control. IP route two. We now have a base machine with the most of the networking software that we will be needing to test and configure our IP networks.